Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Game's a little bit loud, but here we go. Back on some KOTOR action. Last we saw our hero, we met Mission and Tall Wookie. I will not call him Chewbacca. Starts with a Z. Anyway, got some info about some of the gangs in the Undercity. I am in the Undercity. Oh, another uh, hut. Zax. Not seen you here before, human. You are new to the bounty office. Yes, my name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise, but they all pay quite well. Are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents of the hut with all the answers. Hmm. Forgot about this guy's name. Carney said I should speak with you about the Rag Gold Serum. Oh, wait. Goodbye, human. Come back if you want to earn credits. Bounties pay good money. Remember to come to me. Come see me if you want information. So that's the bad guy. I don't want to do that. Oh, that rat ghoul. I want to say rat ghoul. But whatever. Okay. Check out each room. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, giving you access to the lower city. Hopefully it will be just as easy to gain access to the undercity. So I'm in the lower city. Karth is suspicious of me. Uh, let's see, Zelka, eager to acquire, uh, sitting under city patrols. Do not give it a Zach, Zex. Multiple Zex. Let's stay on the main mission here. This gang war is getting out of hand. The Vulcars aren't just attacking the hidden Bexen. Oh, man. A little tired. So, I need to find Bastila. Hmm. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gad on Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk, but the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcra gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. There's lots of names floating around in the last episode, and I don't remember any of them. I do know the gangs. Bribe? My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadden now just because everyone is turning against him. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Zedra. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden bets are watching you. Alright, well, here we go. Out of the way, Karth. Are you hurt? Hidden Beck's base. Hey, Hidden Beck's. Okay. 
Big race. Okay. Uh, what do we have now? Pause, pause the space bar. There is no jump. That's very annoying. You there. What? Can you get in? On it. Damn. Hmm. Yes? Well, we tried, boys. The Vulcars are gaining members every day from the smaller gangs. If they win the big swoop race, there's no telling how many new recruits they'll get. Alright, so I guess this whole racing thing is a big deal. There's the big boy there. Control room. Am I allowed to just open this? Yeah, just some money lying around. A lot of hidden becks here. <laughs> we should have wiped the Volkers out long ago. But Ganon. Ganon? Ganon? That heck he could reason with them. But Frederick, to prevent a war, I guess we'll... I guess we know better now. Alright. There'll be a quiz later on all those names. Alright. Nothing else left to do but talk with um Hold it right there. Oh. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcas do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Alright, nice lady. You can speak to Gadden. Alright. Mr. Man. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? I want to get to those escape pods. A foreign army invades Terrus, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. Let's see about these escape pods. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Uh, let's see, I'm not Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. 
They still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then, when well, we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Pod racing. Oh boy, I don't even have a swoop bike. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. Uh, let's see, I don't work with gangs, Gaiden, Gaiden, what do you the want? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. I have no other options here. Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Ah, uh, she's just at the bar. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. Nice. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hand. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Hmm. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Uh, what do I do? Let's do the papers then. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else hmm. I can do for you? I want to ask you things. Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. What's wrong with your freaky... Wow. What's up with your freaky eyes, old man? Uh, where can I find mission? Uh, very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zedra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulcans. Oh, that's well, a good thing that didn't turn out bad. When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang.
Brezik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Vex against the Valkyrs. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know your rights, Erdra. Brezik won't rest until I am dead and the Vex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Um, let's see. Your time. Let's see. Is there any way? I suggest you hurry. Items lost. Well, I got papers now. I wonder if he's gonna let me in anywhere. Excuse me. I am a hidden Beck now, honorary member of the old HBs. What am I doing? Finding mission, Bayo. Well, she was just at the bar. Cantina, I'm sorry. Where did she go? The Undercity? I don't want to run across that bounty hunter again. Well, looks like I won't find him here. I did see them leave. Let's let us explore. Try to get to the Undercity. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. Just a gunfight in the hallway. Remains. A pack. Do I need it? Good. What's happening here? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for a share. We all do the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord. Let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Vulgars. Ah, oh, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Mandalorian. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Candorous. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace, from what I hear, the wealthy live a Never mind. You got it. Alright. Uh hi, Candorous or do Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. 
They are speaking that way to the wrong person. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. Slowest duel ever. Are you gonna pick them up? Okay, well, I guess more for me. Two of my armor. Well, that's better than what I have. Many elite Etchani duelists use armor of this type, though its adaptability has made it popular with professional soldiers. Bunny hunters like. Okay. Stalin. Ow. You asked for this. Well. Miss. Miss. Carthus not having a good time here. Carth. Oh, buddy. Uh -huh. Yes. Taking steroids. What is this? Combat suit. Sure. I should probably put these things on. Okay, let's see. Implant. Energy shield. When equipped and activated. Okay, so I have to turn it on. Hmm. Using this item consumes one charge. This item is automatically discarded after all the available charges are consumed. I'm gonna not put it on now. Time's it. Ah.
Did I not just level? Oh well. What am I looking for here? Just gonna throw a grenade at these guys. Here we go. first before I go in anywhere else. Carth, you talk a lot of trash. What else, what else, what else? Go back to, back to where I came from. Get a uh, oh, what's his oh, he leveled up. I don't really care. On it. It's open. Huh? Who are you? Sure. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? <laughs> no. I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? My dog's sleep barking. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Okay. Nice to meet you too, ma'am. There's another door I have not gone in. How do I handle these? I think this room has it too. Have I not opened that? I have. Nice rooms. Table. Bed. Some chairs. Guess I gotta keep running. Papers now. There, civilians. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Can't keep me out if you're dead. This is ultimate Sith answers. Save. Here we go, here we go. Under city time. 
<clears throat> Mission Veo and Big Z. Need to find them. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Wide array of answers here. We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. All right, this is too nice. Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. <sighs> Let's see. I'm just going to give you five, whatever. <laughs> credits, my brother. We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? <laughs> Better than this slime pit. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... So wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil. Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Promised Land? What's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Where can I find Rukil? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but... He's really just a kind old man. Did I already ask that? It's it's just a story. I guess we have to make keep the chip. Where can I find Gendar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. <sighs> Let's see, escape pods. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. 
They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukia. Gendar. You could talk to them if you want. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Upworld. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Outcasts. Ragul area, maybe? Skendar. It's a fake hole. Outcast women, outcast men. A place that I could obviously walk through, but can't. Place if I had a space bar, I'd be able to jump. There's Rukil. There's Skendar. Oh, well, that was easy. This area is not that big. I gear. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Uh, no. Yeah, okay. You'll come back and see me if you want a deal. Weird. Alright. Hester. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! I... I can't! The raccoons are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the raccoons are so near. Uh... Whatever. Let's do it. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Is this guy gonna run away? Where? Where, where, where? This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Wow. Oh, I'm very hurt. Right back. Wow. Are we done here? Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Uh... I'm Trellin, from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. Let me ask you things. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Okay. Goodbye, Upworld. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. That was intense. Always take the high ground. People, I'll be win. 
That'll be one. Now what? That's where I came from. And we got these guys. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Hmm. Life down here can be difficult, it can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we need will to charge find my phone. Life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rukil. Rukil? The oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. The rat ghouls, please. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Huh. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Mission Veo. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Hmm. Ask your questions, Upworlder. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Ask. Uh, let's see. The Rackles are. We know of no cure. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. All right. Old kook. A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. 
Rukul Rinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. <laughs> no. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. How can I prove myself? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I will help you. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. All right. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. All right, so his apprentice and the sewers. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here for now. Where are the sewers? Southeast, you lie. Gonna save here. And uh, so far, not bad. Gotta leave now, Mr. Guard. But anyways, I'm breaking here. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and all that goodness. And follow me for the continuation of this journey. Bye.